Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Marble Drop. Uh, we're on level 10. Uh, and uh, this level's called uh, Polybius. And that is a... I looked up some of the level titles. And this one is a Greek... I think a Greek historian. I think... Anyway. Uh, the first marble here is going to be uh, blue. If I put it in this funnel, that is. If I put it in this funnel, uh, the, it'll, that will be pressed. So this will be down. It will go over here and then swing here. It will be still be blue. It will be blue no matter what I do. Uh, interesting. I guess I'll start here then. I don't want my sound echoing back, so I'm going to do that. So, um, to explain a couple things that I kind of glossed over in the first uh, couple videos, uh, one of them is our diverters, which uh, there aren't any diverters in this uh, level. Maybe I'll, exp I'll explain them in the next level. But they're pretty simple. Anyway, this, uh, this level features the pendulum again and these bumpers. Uh, if I do this, I can get red really quickly here. Uh, bump I call them bumpers. They're actually called targets. But the game calls them targets. I think bumpers are more... Oh, I can get blue again very easy. Or this side, green, not blue. So... Every time the marble hits the bumper, it flips up like this. If a marble were to, although it couldn't because the pendulum's facing the wrong direction, if it were to come this way, it would pass right through there and go down here. And it wouldn't affect the bumper. The only way it's affected now is... Uh, hold on. Hmm. If I put a marble down here, it's going to... It's going to fall down to here from there. Go up here. This gets pressed twice, so this goes down but up again, so it's not almost unchanged. It'll move over here. It'll turn this down. This will be back again. It'll go through here, because this will still be up. And it will be yellow, I think. Let's see if I'm right. I'm not even... You can see already the game, it's starting to get a little bit... Oh, shoot. Oh, I totally messed up. I didn't even... I didn't consider this button right here. That was really dumb. The game's already starting to get a little bit complicated. Uh, oh, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can salvage the situation. Let's see. Yes, I can, because I can do this real quick. I don't know, though, if this is going to help. <clears throat> um, oh, it is going to help. Goody. That will go up and it will go on the right one now. Yes. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, it's easy. See how it's very easy to miss things like that. But that's what you... That's basically the only strategy I know, anyway, to playing this game is just imagining... You have to f imagine the path the marble's going to take in your mind, and the hardest part is keeping track of the state of all these different things, in this case bumpers or diverters or other things which are going to change change the, the path of the marble. Uh, do I want to fill that up right away? Yeah, might as well. I might lose a marble here, it's no big deal. That fills up, and the buzzsaw starts. And the only thing is, uh, if I put one down here, that goes down, stays down. Yeah, I'm going to lose a marble here no matter what, so I'm going to get a silver marble. If I go this way, that will, yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm not sure if... <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't plan out, I didn't think about if I need to lose any more. When he goes through, 
Oh no, 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 this is, right. Oh, I've still got two on this side, I didn't even realize that yet. Alright, I mean, yeah, I probably will end up losing the marble. <sighs> Let's see, uh... Shoot, this is gonna get pressed twice, this will still be up. I'll just try it. No harm, I don't care if I lose a couple colored marbles. The nice thing about this game is that I like the optional difficult. I love games with optional difficulty where, uh, like I said be before, losing, being conservative with the marbles only matters if you really care about your score, if you're trying for a high score. But just playing a level casually for the first time, you can, you don't really have to worry about that. There's no real penalties. Uh, there's no, um, what's the word? There's no... Okay, this is gonna work, I think. Yeah, it should. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get it. Wow. Nice. You don't have any... There's no time limits or anything like that. <clears throat> so... Okay. Making sure the sound's still working. That's it. Yep. I oh, some of the other level titles, by the way, like, some of them I know, like Archimedes is a mathematician, there's one called Plato. Um, I don't think we got to that level yet. Eleven, this, I looked this up, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but he was a an inventor from ancient Greece, maybe? Ooh, and this level feature, features cannon, er, cannons. Here's a diverter. And this is actually, these look different, but they're essentially the same as the green things we saw before. Except these are operated by switch. Before, the other, what we've encountered so far, when a marble goes through, as soon as one goes through, it switches, so the following marble would go the other way, and then so on and so forth. This one, both of these don't change unless one of these but connecting buttons are pressed. So the first marble is going to go up here, it's going to switch that down, it's going to go down, uh, and be in a loop? No, eventually it's going to go into the cannon. Actually, yeah. So the cannon will shoot a marble over into this basket. I can't read what that says they call it, but anyway, so it'll be blue. <clears throat> so, uh, I got a kick out of the out of this these levels when I was a kid, because I like the cannon. It's a funny, kind of interesting, uh, <clears throat> um, component. So, uh, let's see. I put a marble in here. If I go here, this marble is going to be lost, because if you goes into a cannon that's already up, that's already loaded, I guess to say, it'll just fall off the screen. Down here, this will go here, it'll switch the diverter, it'll go around, that button fires the cannon. Unfortunately, this, the only buttons to turn this is, turn this is down here. This will, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is already, I'm thinking too hard, I think I should just play. And these elevators are kind of annoying how slow they are. <clears throat> Let me check something real quick. It's ten minutes, wow. Yes. There's these buttons here, hotkeys, that don't really work. Yeah, unfortunately, okay, I think I know what I have to do. Oh, I know, I'm, I'm, 
I remember now, I believe this level, actually, if you don't want to waste anything, this marble is going to go back in the cannon, which is bad because that's not what we want. Every time the marble goes down here, it switches this back to, which isn't great. Can I? No, I can't save that. Shoot. Alright, no matter. I'll just... Uh, hold on. Did I miss something here? Or would that have gone where I wanted it after all? I'm gonna try to put the next cannon... And... As you can see there, when a button f presses a button, when the cannon is not loaded, nothing happens to it. Alright. I think I'm going to have this red marble in a constant loop if I play correctly. Should have used a silver marble for that, but no big deal. Yeah, I think that's the... I remember that about this level. You can... You don't have to do this. But... It's not difficult. So the next one on this side will be yellow. And yeah. Now I want... Uh, oh, that was wrong. I should have waited. And now... Um, I should have waited. Yeah, now they won't. Alright, I messed up somehow. No big deal. I think... The red one would have went... Yeah, the red... Yeah, I should have just waited until the red one was... Down here, and... No matter. Well, I'll get this one in here. <clears throat> the green one... Okay. The green one's gonna go down here, it's not gonna do anything. Alright, the green one will eventually get to the cannon again. I think... I think... Yeah, I kinda... I was... Kinda went quickly through the, uh... No, he's still gonna... Oh, okay. I'm being silly. This guy's in a constant loop no matter what happens, because he keeps switching this such that it always... He always stays on the lower path. That's interesting. So... Hmm. Alright, so what I need to do is put a green one down now. I think... Hopefully there's time... I think there is. There's the little lip is missing right here from the track where the uh, marble would rest. Yes, this was correct. And if I don't make any more mistakes, this green marble should be in a continuous loop now. And I'll get ready <coughs> with an orange marble over here to go down here. Trigger Diverter, that's what these are called. That's what it says right here in the background. The only annoying thing is this has to go up above the, when you press the pause button. <coughs> mm. Other thing you have to account for, you don't have to worry about it yet, but you will eventually. <coughs> and that is the length of time that it takes for the little spark to travel through the wire when a button is pressed. It's rather... Well, it's just something that doesn't really matter too much yet, but there are a couple of levels I remember where the wires are very long and it takes a very long time. Oh, here we are. I'm ready to do this. It takes a very long time for the marble to 
I mean for the for the button to trigger. So there's a, a delay and you have to account for that when you're trying to solve the level. Pause. Okay. I'd like to get through more levels in one video. I might break this up into more videos. Going slowly doesn't help. I don't like staying on fast mode forever because things like the cannon take a long time, so... Things keep triggering when... After the level's over, it's interesting. Anywho, that was level 11. Let's do one more level if we can. Oh boy, okay, level 12. Ma Chun, who I... Sounds Chinese. This is, this level features a new component. It's really hard to read. The, I wish this, the words on the background was easier to read. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to mimic that whole uh, Leonardo da Vinci writing backwards thing, I think. Or just writing in cryptic style. Anyway, glue works by a marble falls into glue and it sticks there, it stays there. And what happens when a following marble knocks into it, it pushes the other, the first marble out in whatever direction the other was going. So if I put a push a marble into here, it'll stay there. The following one, if it came from this direction, would push the first out over to the left. If it came from the other direction, it would push it out to the right. So this really, this I struggle with. This level is in all, pretty much all glue levels I am sort of dreading because they are difficult, I think, anyway. Uh, this really requires a lot of planning ahead. And I'm trying to think right now how I want to even begin. And by the way, there's no way to get a marble unstuck from the glue without having another knock into it. So at best, we're going to lose at least three marbles on this level. Uh, they'll remain in the glue when the level ends. So if I go this way... I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna try this. Kind of feel my way around it. It's been a while since I played this level, so made that green because I plan to knock this one this way. I'm gonna make this purple. It's a nice thing about the rest of the level is very simple. There's only two diverters here, which is nice. So if I want this to succeed, I need to knock it this way. If I want this to succeed, I need to knock it to the right as well. And I can do that. What's hard is what I want to put in there next, because... When they go this way, you've got now two here to worry about. And there's two pieces of glue with a, thing, uh, with a, a track ending on either side. So, yes, yeah, it's only level 12, and it's already requiring a, a good amount of brain power. I'm going to make this one orange, I think. I'm, not, I'm just going to put an orange here. This will end up right here. And I could, let's see. I think I may have made a mistake already. If I do this again, I can I can put this one into the home, which I probably should do. Well, that's going to happen no matter what I see. Not sure what I want. I can send them orange home simultaneously. If I 
if I go to the next one here and put a blue one in, they'll be out of order. And I knock one this way, then it'll send blue. I'll have a blue and a green one in here, and then the blue will end up. They'll both, well, the first one will be destroyed. Um, if I send one, right, I'm just going to, yeah, what do I want to do? I'm not going to use silver marbles, because they're going to get, uh, on the off chance I get, I can ac accidentally win. <laughs> uh, I'd rather not. If I use a silver marble, you, I know I can't win. So that was good, obviously, mm -hmm. but... I could keep uh, sending these home, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this path and send them this way. Uh, I'm going to try something probably a little wacky here. So I've got... Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I was not thinking at all. I should have put the red. It should be red. Ah. Oh well. Yeah, it, was, it was really stupid. Well. I'm forced. Hmm, I should save my game. Uh, regardless of what's going on. Because there's no autosave in this game other than it remembers where you are when you bring restart the game, but if you were to load and move around, it does not save. So the next marble, it's going to get destroyed. I'm going to have to account for... I'm going to make this one green again, because I'm hoping this one eventually will be knocked it down to here. And... That should have been red. I should have put a red one there. That was really dumb. Mm, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, no, I can't do that either. Right, this one should. I'm gonna make it yellow. I am just f all kinds of failing at this level terribly right now. <laughs> I knew this one would be hard takes a different kind of, um, of, uh, thinking. Alright, I can put it, I can do this. And then go down here. I still haven't even gotten the first one in this yet. I'm already running out of marbles. I want to send this one home, so I'm going to take this path. And I might as well make it green. I think I'm kind of forgetting something. A, a trick with what I should be putting down here, I think. I don't want to put any... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to make this, wait, this be purple. I don't, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was about to say. I, I don't want to, what was I going to say? I don't want to try and outsmart myself. Okay, I can finally get a green one home. I think my mistake is doing this right here, actually, but... I have to do this the simplistic way, because I've, I've just completely forgotten the whole intelligent way to do this level. Uh, I'm going to risk putting a blue one down here. This purple's going to get home, so that one will be done. And then... That was dumb. Next one I send here, what do I want that to be? Because then I could knock it either way. I 
put one down here uh, using this. This will go down. Then I can send it to the left. <clears throat> After sending it to the left, uh, when this is up, it becomes useless because I'm just sending a, a marble into the saw or setting one up to go to the left, setting a future marble up. On this funnel, I don't want to send one here because then it'll be in the way of this. This is the hardest bin to access right here. Because, well, yeah, it just, <laughs> it's, it's the hardest bin. It's hard to describe why there's just so much order and succession in this level. Um, I'm just kind of brute forcing my way through this because I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of time on the level. This is obviously by far not the most efficient way to play this level. So, alright, uh, shoot, I want, I'm going to keep, whoops, I'm going to keep this blue for now, I'm going to do that, and, so both funnels are now going to go, okay, this funnel, yeah, what I should have done, I now see, now that it's too late, is, hold on, this will be, I can make this green, I think. What I should have done, I'm also being silly and not remembering the states of these diverters. Okay. What I should have done, what I should have done, alright. Using here, I'll do that. Then this one is, we'll go to the saw. This one, I want to use this one right here. I'm just going to keep using green mark. Well, I'm so, yeah, it's, now I don't really have to think too much. I can just keep using green marbles since that's the only thing left. This is going to push the blue in, so that's already secure. But, I'm going to get two silver marbles to use. I want to use this one because I want this path to access to push it this way. And, uh, this path isn't terribly useful to me anymore. <sighs> yeah. Oh, well, I'm getting there. <laughs> this was, yeah. I did not, uh... Yeah, I'm just... I've got it now, but I'm just wasting a lot of marbles. I'm hoping to do that a little... a uh, little more, uh... With a little more finesse than I did there, but... Oh well. I got the job done. At last. And that, that'll be it. With no, no, we had a bunch of more. I was about to say none in the saw, but we did have this saw several times. I forgot, forgot any of the others already. Anyway, um, I will stop there for that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.